This is Info Live TV headline news. I'm Daniel Ben Nun. Iran's nuclear chief announced on Wednesday that the country now has more than 5,000 centrifuges operating at a uranium enrichment plant. In the latest revelation of the Islamic Republic's continued defiance of UN demands to halt its nuclear program, the Iranian official Golam Reza Agazeda said Iran will continue to install the centrifuges and enrich uranium in order to produce nuclear fuel for the country's future nuclear power plants. Meanwhile, Iranian state media reported on Wednesday that Iran had successfully launched the new Kavosh 2 rocket, showing off the Islamic State's new advances in ballistic missiles at a time when the world is concerned about Iran's nuclear ambitions. According to the Iranians, the rocket is meant to create a basis for scientific and technological development in the field of space. The launch follows an announcement earlier this month that Iran had test-fired a new generation of surface-to-surface -surface missiles. The tests were conducted to send the message that the Islamic Republic was ready to defend itself against any attacker. Israel's High Court of Justice ordered the state on Wednesday to explain within 45 days why it is not using all means to evacuate the Migron outpost in the West Bank. The hearing was held following a petition submitted by the Peace Now movement. On Monday, the state issued a statement announcing that Prime Minister Ehud Olmert and Defense Minister Ehud Barak had decided, together with the Yesha Council, that Migron would be moved to the West Bank settlement of Adam. Palestinian female students threw chairs and exchanged punches at a Gaza university this week in a manifestation of the Hamas Fatah conflict that has divided Palestinian society recently. The fight at the university in Khan Yunis was triggered by arguments over mutual allegations of repression between leaders of Hamas, who now control Gaza, and Fatah, which dominates the West Bank. Hamas police arrived on the scene and fired in the air to disperse the students, and classes were suspended for two days following the incident. A Palestinian lawmaker in Gaza has said that a boat loaded with humanitarian aid has left Libya and will attempt to reach Gaza despite an Israeli naval blockade. According to lawmaker Jamal Kudari, the ship has already left the Libyan port of Zawara carrying food, medicines, and blankets, and will arrive in Gaza early next week. While Jamal said that the Libyan foreign ministry confirmed the ship had departed, Libyan officials declined to comment on the matter on Wednesday. Immediately upon returning from his visit to Washington D.C., Prime Minister Ehud Olmert is expected to tackle the growing financial crisis in Israel, jumping into the debate over a proposed bailout bill by seeking to find a compromise solution between the finance ministry and the Histadrut. Olmert emphasized that he was ultimately the one with the final say over which plan would eventually be sent to the Knesset for approval. He also said that Israel's upcoming elections would not in any way influence a future bailout plan. Thank you for watching Info Live TV, Israel's only internet television channel that broadcasts in four languages from Jerusalem to the world.